So one of my favourite memories is spending some time with my friend's daughter. So I call her my niece and I quite often babysit and I get the chance to just play and enjoy doing kid things. So in particular, I remember when she came round and I was blowing up the air mattress for her to sleep on. Um, and when I'd finished blowing it up, she kind of tugged on my leg and went, I bounce. Um, she'd have been two and a half at the time. I was just like, yeah, go for it. So we had to, you know, a good half an hour where it was a bouncy castle. And then partway through, um, she wanted to use it to build a fort instead. So I went and fetched a blanket and we kind of had a tea party under it. And then after that, it became a slide because we, we leaned it on the sofa. And what I love about spending time with, with her in particular, but other young people, is just the way their imagination is limitless. And when they come up with ideas as an adult, I can work out, right, what are some of the steps to make that happen or to bring it to life a little bit more. And there's just such a joy in adult life having those moments of play and really remembering what it was like to be a kid. And it must be lovely for them as well, for you to be involved in their world, because, you know, I'm down on the floor crawling around with her and being part of the world that she's created. So I really think that Working in partnership with children, you know, through play should be applied to lots of other areas, education, health, politics, because when we're both in balance, we can take a lot from their, you know, innovation, creativity, and they get our kind of practical tools or making things happen, bringing their ideas to life. So it's a really, it's a really symbiotic relationship when adults and children work together.